the minute we give any drug, when I give any drug, it may be anything from aspirin to statin, it, the body says, this is something new, I have not seen it. You know, my ancestors have not seen it. Mankind has not seen it. So it must be a poison. That's the wisdom of the human body. So any poison which goes in, the body tries to throw into the chemistry, chemistry factory in the body called the liver. So it's thrown into the liver. Every drug, mind you, mark my words, every drug. Now what the liver does, it does its best to destroy it. Does its best to destroy it. Supposing the liver is not able to immediately destroy the whole lot, something comes out of the liver, which we teach pharmacology students as first pass effect. I used to ask a lot of professors of pharmacology when I go around to medical <laughs> colleges to lecture, what did you teach about the first pass effect? Very simple. Sir, it is the amount of drug that comes out of the liver after the circulation in the liver. But what is it them about? What is the philosophy behind it? Would you believe not one person ever answered that question? The answer should have been, or the student must have told, try to prescribe as less drugs as possible, as less drugs as possible, because every single drug, when it becomes a chemical, is not recognized by the human system as its own. The MIT study, or the, the mitochondrial chip study showed that it is the body's intelligence and the energy that runs the system and not the drugs. And all that the modern drugs could do is ADR, adverse drug reactions. The biggest killer of mankind today is not a gun, it's not a plane falling down. You would be surprised in America alone, whose population is 300 million, around less than 300 million, four jumbo jets full of people die every week due to drugs. If one jumbo jet falls down in this world, there will be news for two months in all the television, 24 hours 7. And every week, four jumbo jets fall down. And these people unnecessarily die by what is called iatrogenesis, doctor-induced illness, through our biggest weapons of mass destruction about which I have written with the caption called weapons of mass destruction in the British Medical Journal, the drugs, chemical drugs. So friends, Avoid as many chemical drugs as is possible.